All right, everybody, Baron here, and welcome back to Forts here. We have an impressive battleship. This has often been the test bed of a number of secret weapons that we've used, and naturally, we're firing them against a live target. Oh, you want an example? Okay, well, how about some main deck guns? I just watched the movie The Battle of Midway. It was pretty cool, and it had a lot of naval battles. So I'm feeling quite shippy and chippy today. So fire all the main guns, but wait till you see... All of the weapon systems... Hey, hey, stop shooting back at me. Why, why are these live targets shooting back at me? We're gonna be using Birdie's guns. Now, if you look at the weapon arsenal right here, you're already gonna notice something. Like, oh, I don't know. I can put sideways machine guns hanging from the roof. Which is pretty amazing. They're roof gunners. But that's not really even the coolest. This is a 50 caliber machine gun. This is a periscope minigun. We've got 20 MP missile launchers. Single UZ MP missile launchers. A 30 millimeter artillery gun. Kinetic beams. Shield beams. Oh my god. And then this is gonna be my favorite of them all. S helicopters. There is unique helicopters to each of the individual commanders. So since I'm a sniper, this one is a sniper helicopter. We're gonna be building an air force. So switching my commander and restarting, what we have to do is suppress the enemy. So there we go, we took out one of them. We took out one of their main guns. Let's go ahead and get some early energy. We clearly seem to be a little bit low. One of the things I can do is also sell these guys. We'll get a little bit of the materials back. And you know what, gentlemen, you may fire when ready. Oh, that was a little bit low. They still have a cannon behind this, and we need to suppress it and destroy it because it's quite simple. In a battle, you gotta remember that the enemy is the bad guy. What does that mean exactly? <laughs> if they ain't us, they suck, right? Fire the guns! There we go. Now we've taken out their main artillery batteries. We can finally start to do what we need to do. We must carpe the resources. Oh my god, I'm getting actually quite a bit. A little bit low on energy, gentlemen. We need more energy production. We also should probably protect this a little bit better, but we're very low on materials. But this is generally how it goes in forts. In the early stages, it's, it's a precarious place to be because oftentimes you're exchanging shots with the enemy. And on these maps, they've got, they start with some pretty impressive stuff. But having taken out their main cannons right away, they have to tech up in order to replace them because we used the Blitzkrieg strategy. And no, I'm not talking about my buddy Blitz. He took that from the Germans. Incoming! Now, it would be detrimental to the war effort to lose these cannons early. I think that was the flak gun up high, and we don't even really have the energy, really, to fire back with a primary cannon, so I think what I'm gonna try to do is do the flak attack on them. You can see we're just out of range, which is probably why my flak gun was just slightly injured, but I think if we aim a little bit higher with our auto cannon, we'll be able to take him out. Oh! Oh yes! <laughs> Did you see him fall? He fell down, and that's where their core is, so they're gonna want to protect that. Because remember, this is the command deck. These are battleships. These things are very big, but also relatively fragile. Oh my god. Yes! An oil derrick? Oh my god. I want one of these things. I want one for Christmas, too. But once these things are done, they get plus 14 energy compared to the average mine, which only does plus four. It does cost five energy per mine, but these things are plus 14 each, and they generate electricity as opposed to consume it here. Now, unfortunately, we don't have the, they call it a mine. But don't worry, we're gonna be able to upgrade these mines even still. So we're gonna need as much tech as we can afford. And needless to say, we can afford quite a bit at the moment. All right, here we go. Now we're in business with these big old oil derricks up. And when you're talking oil derricks, you gotta remember that as an American, this sure smells like freedom to me. Oh, more oil derricks? Say no more, friend. I'm gonna get so much resources, it will literally be coming out the wazoo. And you may be asking yourself, what is the wazoo? I don't know. It's just, that's, that's the place where everything is coming out of. So we're increasing our storage because some of these weapons are fantastical. And honestly, we want to build them all. Look at this. Plus 707 energy production, plus 77 mineral production, and we're only going to build more. Sing it with me. America. 
Oil memes. They never really get old. Upgrades, 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 upgrades. All right, we're slapping down our last um, technology center. All of our mines are upgraded. We've got so many oil derricks, I can't even count to seven. We've got tons of energy production. I think this is the part where Lando Cal Calrissian from the original Star Wars trilogy comes in and says, Hey, that thing's operational. Because we are. And look at all of these glorious weapon devices. Oh my. Where shall we start? Something, something, weapons. Something, something, more oil. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. This is a bit excessive. Oh, these cannons. This is what I love about mods, is those cannons get a little boring. We're still waiting for these two puppies, and look at what we get access to. Oh, 30 millimeter artillery? Yes, I would like one of those. We'll put it back here. Because he's artillery. And why not? Oh, a shield beam? No, we don't need any shields. Oh my god, a photon compression laser. I would like one of these. This thing looks fancy and expensive. And here's the helicopter. All right, we'll have him in this, like, hidden little, like, bat cave. Oh, and you only get one, and only one photon laser. I was really hoping to be able to produce multiple helicopters, but this is called the heavy helicopter because I'm the heavy commander. Kinetic beams? This sounds scientific. I need one. All right, we're gonna sell these old ballistic-based weapons. We're moving into the future, guys. We're getting some science stuff. Oh, and you only get one of those as well? What about a shield beam? Oh my god, what is going on? Guys, I think this thing's almost operational. Lando? Ooh, a 50 caliber sniper? Yeah, I want one of these. All right, the artillery's ready. Let's see if we can't hit this guy first time. Artillery shells look like they're going to be woefully short. Now, this is a 30 millimeter mortar, and I think we might have multiple shots. All right, I'm thinking this one looks like it should hit mm, right around here. And by right around here, I mean actually be on the command deck. Oh, that's lovely. Hello, batteries. Sure would be a shame if something happened to you. Fire again! So the 30 millimeter artillery, oh my god, it can fire very fast. It's got a very quick reload rate, which makes sense because it's smaller ordnance than the heavier stuff. Oh, and we're overheating. If you look at it right near my mouse cursor, there's like a temperature gauge. We overheated, we boiled over, and I really want to explode these batteries. But we're unable to fire right now. There's some steam coming from the cannon. Someone needs to pee on it. I saw it in a movie once. It's a tactic. Seriously, someone pee on it. Incoming! Oh, come off it. All right, this second shot should be good. Don't build. Don't he build again? He disobeyed my orders! I know, he's the enemy. Alright, please don't build. We're gonna explode these things. Yeah! That, my friends, is a chain reaction. Remember, they're the bad guys. I want to test out science. Fire the shield generator! What the heck is that? I don't know. It's scientific, I love it. I have no idea what it does. This is a kinetic beam. I'm gonna fire low and amidships. Uh, some alien stuff, man. We're the cows. Don't, don't the aliens always test their stuff on cows first and then people? We should be doing that too. Oh, this thing sounds... Oh, snap! This is the kinetic beam. Okay. Wait, that's the... What is that? Oh, that was the photon... Compression laser? And this is the kinetic beam. Projectiles passing through the beam gain a strong kinetic effect. Okay, so it's a supplementary thing. But this is... Wait, let's try out the 50 cal sniper. Weapon test. Oh, snap. He was still firing. Those 50 cals don't seem like they did anything to this metal. What's what's breaking over here? Looks like their engineering is going a little bit awry, and this guy's still like, Hey man, I just watched Midway. Where, where's the dive bombers at? If only... If only that's the way the game was, where we could, like, call in AI air forces to assist. Alright. Oh, come on. You overheated already? How? How? Blow up anything and everything. All right, helicopter. Oh, here we go. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, I'm gonna call the helicopter on this front gun turret. Uh, I hope he can- Oh my god, he barely took off out of there. Oh, snap! So remember, we called him into attack here. It almost looked like he landed on the enemy- <laughs> He looked like he landed on the enemy battleship, which I guess he kind of did. Helicopters can do that. This is a hanging cannon. In case you want one. Oh, which we can actually utilize? Because we couldn't put a standing one right above it, but we could put a hanging one. And I realized we could probably put one of these behind it. No, it's actually too tall, so it works perfectly. 
It's a very interesting use. All right. Fire this thing for science. Now, if we had the helicopter to follow it up, that seems like a really good idea. So, send out the air forces, gentlemen. The helicopter is amazing. Look at that. He's got a big old cannon on him. Now fly into it and blow up. Yeah! All right. I'm liking this. I'm liking this a lot. So now we'll just follow that up with some 50 cal sniper rounds. That should pretty much should have been used to take out their flak cannon that was up there. There's also upside down our, uh, mortars, and I think there's even triple mortars. I definitely saw a triple mortar. I would imagine you're going to have to take a regular mortar and upgrade it. So for science, let's build two of them now. And let's try this thing again. If we can, if we can time this. Oh, snap. It went through the beam. So, now what if I sent him, if I, hmm. He's definitely not very accurate. Now, I would love to see one of these helicopters get shot down. I'm gonna have to play this in multiplayer, where we use air forces against each other. Like, that would be kind of fun. I need to get Blitz and do an air force only challenge. Guys, let me know your ideas, suggestions, and challenges for future videos in the Fort series. Because I think that's a really good idea. That one right there would be fun. Air Force only. It'd be super silly. Gentlemen, you may fire when ready. I swear, if you don't say that every Forts video, is it even a Forts video? Whoa! Okay, this is hilarious. This thing is inversely affected by gravity because it's hanging. I guess... Look at this. <laughs> it's like I'm Cristiano Ronaldo hitting free kicks. I guess he hasn't really done too well this season, so... Or in a while. Uh, Leo Messi, there we go. <laughs> that is the silliest thing ever. It's also got an incredibly fast reload. Although it does overheat, so I guess that's a balancing thing. Alright, so we just upgraded that mortar to heavy mortars, so now we should upgrade him to the third level, which I think is gonna be trip mortars. AKA the triples. Alright, now what happens if I... Soften that up, and then fire this beam thing. Well, it's too late. Yeah. Dude, can you imagine if- So you're a battleship, and all of a sudden, this guy comes up, starts firing green laser weapons. You're like, my god, is that man of aliens? I heard about them on the news. Oh, okay, so the triple mortar is one mortar shell that splits. And I swear I just heard a Mario sound. Fire the triple mortars! There's a blue one, a red one, and a regular one. So it's EMP. I thought it would be fire would be the yellowish orange one, but that that my friends is not the case. Ding ding ding. You can hear them splitting. They there those ones are duffing into the ocean. Now that one's firing too heavy. We don't want it to hit this area. We still want to experiment. So I don't know. Maybe just two ballistics and an EMP. This is still my favorite thing. Watch this. Just watch. Watch the curve on this shell. I don't know what gravity is. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Fire the shields! So what does that shield thing do? Reflects projectiles. Okay. That'd be kind of tough, but if you were a highly skilled player and playing someone, you know, I guess... Pew, pew, triple mortars! Yeah, we, we still need to finesse those ones. Okay. We're gonna finish this one off. We're gonna target the helicopter against the bridge. Alright. Only... a few of them... Hit that. Now he's like, oh, oh my god, he fired the big boy. Woo! Okay. See, this is why I want multiple helicopters. I could have done a little bit better. We're gonna we're gonna finesse a free kick shot. Uh, and by that I mean totally miss. Alright, we gotta use that guy to soften it up perchance. Mortars! Oh, there okay, so there might actually be fire. It's just since they hit metal. Uh, it didn't burn. Or, since it only hit metal, it burned. But now that they're hitting exposed wood, we're getting fires from these trips. So it's EMP, uh, explosive HE rounds, uh, and then, basically, incendiary slash napalm mortars. So, EMP is pretty good. It's pretty much the trifecta of mortardom. Remember, it is the tier three of them. Okay. So, we need to soften that guy up, so we're gonna, we're gonna... You know, free kick. Who's the best free kick in soccer right now? All right, that guy's good to go. Kind of soften up as best we could. We'll fire some mortars because we can. Oh, I think. All right, now he fires the big one. Aim, fire! Revving speed, sir. 
And no timber. Okay, well, we're gonna have to do something ourselves. We're gonna have to wait till this thing stops overheating. Ooh, that was a little bit high. Just a little higher. So many Lando quotes. Maybe if we EMP the bridge, it'll soften itself up for us. I love the sound effects from that. All right, this one should hit closer to the bridge. We finesse and then finally we bring forth the helicopter. That was a good shot. Very good shot. Because I want to get the finishing blow with the helicopter. All right, we got air cover going in there. The mortars should have softened it up. His spread cannons. Okay. This is... Uh, he missed! <laughs> Yo, whoa, flat gun, shoot it down! You had one job and you didn't even do it! He's like, I'm still looking for the American dive bombers. The TBDs. Alright, so we need to aim better with the helicopter this time. I think I need to aim lower. I guess, is that showing our last aim? Okay. Then maybe this juncture would be better? Alright, proceed with the mortars. We've got the, uh, covering fire. Ooh, that one did pretty good. Took up, maybe- Yes! The helicopter did it with the final shot and then he crashed into it because he's just dedicated like that. Alright, so our helicopter now is the flamethrower helicopter. Hold on, we're definitely gonna have to hit these guys. Uh-oh. Short on energy, we only got to fire two out of the three missiles. And they're not gonna do a whole lot anyway. So I think we should take this opportunity to produce a little bit of energy. Yeah, but now I'm, I'm very excited for this flamethrower. All right, let's try to hit the head. It's not going to be very big of a blast, unfortunately for us. Oh, shoot. That was a really good hit by them. And I cannot just afford this stuff. Mineral production is very, very low. We're at a bit of a disadvantage here, boys. All right, I'm gonna aim for up here. And we got all three swarm missiles coming out of the aircraft carrier. Remember, these are the early skirmishing days. We need to take out their, resor their resource production, create some fires, force them to spend money on stuff after their stuff that's supposed to make them money is breaking. It's, I don't know. That's the strategies we're going with. Resource denial at the moment. Aim the laser a little bit higher, just a little higher. That was pretty- Oh, that was fantastic! Okay, we took out one of their main guns. We- that should have been able to buy us a little bit of time. Probably get some tech when we can. Actually, we're gonna- Oh man, they- they're- Oh, if we would have hit right after that laser. That was a lot of weak stuff, and remember, we are the fireman. And our fires do a little bit better. Larger incendiary effect is the passive, and all weapons are incendiary is the primary? Hmm, maybe if I could get a little bit more energy and fire the laser and, shortly after that, the swarm missiles. It might be the play. Or maybe the missiles first? No, we'll wait for these guys. We'll use our power to make all weapons in Sandier. So this is basically a super laser fire beam. Oh, and here we go. More mines. More mines. More money. Less problems? Doesn't sound like a very compelling rap song to me. Alright, what we do have right now is fire laser. Followed up by the missiles. The laser didn't have a whole lot of energy. But there are fires raging. Oh my god, those fire rockets! Goodness gracious, great ATM-6 is a fire. I love it! Alright. Now we gotta get the flamethrower helicopter to finish the job. Alright, I'm gonna try to fire the laser first. Oh, that was actually perfectly timed. So it, it got rid of a lot of that armor. I was expecting a little bit more fires, but we didn't have our special, our power-up working at that moment. So, you know, I guess we gotta deal with that. Whoa, what are they doing with the head there? I don't think that's how it's supposed to look, but they are building this bridge from below, so... I don't know. Let's destroy it a little bit. Oh. There we go, the residual fire is breaking out. This almost looks like a really... I don't know. Yeah, I don't I don't know what they're doing here. I guess the ATM-6 does kind of look funny. Whoa, I've got a flamethrower. I'm gonna build it, and I'm going to use it. Uh, apparently there's also specialty weapons. And there's a, a Molotov slingshot? I, I don't know. I don't know, but we need them because they're funny. Basically, everything is fire-themed. For this guy. That looks a lot of it like it exposed wood. 
Blah, 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 it's gonna catch on fire, let's burn it. Oh. After that, we're gonna fire the flamethrower, which I've never used before. I don't know its range. Oh! <laughs> oh my god, I can't wait to see the uh, helicopter that's gonna be firing that kind of stuff. Incendiary rockets are pretty dope. Alright, I just heard something, and I think that means the flamethrower is ready to go. So if we do that, and then we fire that, and then we fire this laser, it won't be incendiary though. Wait a minute, that was only one. Oh, that was really good. Oh, we're low on energy. That's the issue. All right, so these are flame guy slingshots. <laughs> Molotovs, I think. Okay, so we're gonna have to aim a lot higher. I think they upgrade into archers. Okay, there's a little bit of fires there. It's pretty cute, that's awesome. Okay, yeah, we're gonna upgrade these guys. So their fire arc will probably be a little bit better. There's some more fire for them to think about. Let's go ahead and fire all of the incendiaries again. Give them a laser too. Hopefully the laser doesn't destroy the rockets. Okay, it destroyed a few. Maybe sent a few of them awry, but still most of them found their targets. Fire technology's fun. Oh, how about some incendiary rockets? Look at this, it's yellow, so you know it's gonna burn up stuff. And now, this means all weapons are incendiary. So, uh, you know, we'll just be ready. All right, you guys wanted to know what these fire archers were all about. Did you just, what is, what is your issue? You're still slingshotists. Wait a minute. They must not- I read Archer somewhere. Maybe mine is just a slingshotter for this commander, the flaming commander. Well, we're gonna have to fire- Oh, that, that's- that's a good hit. Okay. They're explosive. They don't burn. Well, they do if we do this. Those should burn. These are gonna burn even extra hot. Oh, look at that, a rocket and a missile. Oh, the flame trails destroyed the incendiary rocket that was following that up. We're getting our last bit of technology, which will allow us to purchase and acquire the glorious weapon system that we oh so desire. Oh wow, look at that. I could just build three derricks in a row. The technology is complete. Prepare the air force. Now I believe the core is in here and they're definitely made this an iron nose. A lot of the fire is just burning out, but don't worry. All right, we gotta fire the incendiary rocket after these fire contrails. Oh, actually, they don't- they're not special. It's only when we have our active ability up where, uh, the rockets even are incendiary. I guess they are technically high explosive. Now, what if we upgraded these incendiary rockets? Will they do trios? Oh, I forgot about you guys. Nice. That's cute. You- you, you tried, right? Imagine, see, this is the thing. We simply can't burn this down. Although... <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't mean we're not gonna try. I guess the best thing to counter Mr. Firebird is to have a lot of iron around, a lot of metal armor. Yes! Burn, baby, burn! Alright, yeah, I'm lobbing like grenades. Those things are super weak, but they're fun. Let's go to Camelot, it is a silly place. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo, baby! Alright, I know, I know. We're gonna have to, we're gonna need something like big. Alright, now this is what? Are, those don't look incendiary to me. They're just regular high explosives. What? Why would they... Hmm, wait a second. I think I can build more than one helicopter, or... Wait, 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 hold on. I think I can do it while it's not built. No. How come we were only able to build... Maybe it's because he was so powerful. I don't know. For some reason, I'm actually able to raise an air force this time. Oh. Three was the max, I guess. Well, let's test him out. Now, our sniper, our targeting computer, is no longer in range, or he doesn't have line of sight. We're gonna have to make a new one. I really don't need these guys, as cute as they are. Fire. Oh, snap! EMPs! They're firing back at us! Oh, how rude. Now, where would they have fired from? Here. I've determined that that is a bad area, and I want it destroyed. We need to protect our Air Force, gentlemen. Send in... The flame chopper. All right, preparing uh, H1. Okay. Oh, lots of fire. Love it. Love it. Now get close and do something crazy. Oh, it's just more of that. Okay, cool. I was expecting like an endless stream. Now this is absolute destruction. These helicopters need to be shot out of the air. Otherwise this happens. And then when he blows up, is there any fire? Well, he hit an area of metal, so it's going to be a little bit tricky. Let's follow this up with some fire and some ballistics. This helicopter is burning. Oh, that looks like you're having a bad time, doesn't it, friend? All right, we're repairing this one because he he took some uh, shrapnel rounds. We lost the rear rotor here, but don't worry. Whoa, that looks like my hands on it. Can I upgrade them? Oh, unfortunately you cannot. Okay, 
all helicopters on three different areas. We sent out the entire Air Force. Now, hopefully they don't shoot each other down. Doesn't look like it. Oh my god, this is awesome. This is exactly what I wanted out of it. To have swarms of helicopters just absolutely destroying this thing. Now, it is going to take a little bit of while. Oh, there we go. Right into the legs. Oh, man. These guys definitely watched Empire Strikes Back. They know. Sweep the legs. What's on fire? Oh, my God. How did that get on fire? That was weird. Fire up with some ballistics. Something was just purring like it was an alien, man. I don't know what's going on. All right, we'll soften them up with this and maybe hit them with the flamethrower again. Then we'll fire all three helicopters. Because I want this on fire and burning, keeping them honest. And I'm going to aim all three helicopters for the same point and see. All right, all three helicopters are on the same part. And we have, I think, upgraded flames right now. But they don't do a lot against metal. It did damage it. Okay, there we go. Once there's the penetration here, the armor's down. Where's the core? It's got to burn. The, uh, just the kinetic force of flamethrower. Wow. <laughs> and all three helicopters. No, one actually ran into there. But the other two flew away victoriously. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the birdies mod. It's fantastic. It's got helicopters and I love it. Let me know your challenges and ideas for the next video. And I will see you guys there.